what's up you guys it's your girl jordan welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel and today's video is going to be a little girl chat get ready with me special shout out to uni's hair for sending me over this wig this is a 16 inch jerry curl tea part wig that i'm absolutely living for right now so all the information for this hair will be linked down below if you guys want to go check it out and um yeah if you want to see me install this hair and us have a good little kiki go ahead and keep on watching as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe and let's just go ahead and get right into it okay To a penthouse, Miami Beach. Hey, yo, niggas talk crazy on tweets. They don't want it cause I come to defeat. They don't want it. I beat these niggas all sweet. Bamboo sticks out on the cheap. It's a new weirdo every week. Weirdo. Get the one, put it up for my seeds. No cure for the IG disease. Do anything for clock. 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 everyday basic makeup i'm not going to do anything crazy i'm going to try to remember to tell you guys the products that i'm using if i don't i'm so sorry i'm going to go in with my elf um putty primer for to prime my skin but how have you guys been like oh my gosh we're in 2021 like the year everyone has been ooh, anticipating the year everyone has been looking forward to it. we're here this is what i think this is the third week of 2021 this this is the second week the second week of 2021 and you know january you know she's she's going on by very much so she's going slow which i appreciate because it just seemed like 2020 was just a complete blur to be honest so i'm glad we're just not at the end of january already even though it's coming up pretty quick but we're not there yet you know but i'm excited i don't know i'm using my tarte double duty um foundation today but um yeah this year wow this year i turned 21 which i'm not gonna lie i'm not really excited about that i'm just not excited about the fact well, don't get me wrong i'm excited that yes god i'm here for another year but it's just that i'm aging i don't want to age like i just feel like i'm st i literally feel like i'm still 19 like i feel like i'm still 18 fuck like 19 i feel like i'm still 18 even though i'm 20 right now it just feels like damn like a bitch is really getting older out here like i'm not feeling that at all like 21 like damn i really have to get my life together like 21 yeah that's crazy but um yeah i turned 21 this year and i don't know like i don't even want to say oh my gosh this year i have so much planned which i do but it's just kind of like i just kind of just want to let things work itself out you know what i mean i don't want to talk about it i don't want to you know put so much energy into it of course i'm putting energy to it as far as you know making sure i'm doing what i need to do in order to reach those goals but like you know i just want to let things play out you know just let god and the universe handle it and i'll you know i'll do my part they do their part and you know we'll see how everything plays out in the end okay period but um yeah i'm excited i mean these first two weeks it's been okay i really haven't been doing much i started school again which sucks i started spring semester what january 11 school started back and i'm not really excited about that to be honest because my professors like my anatomy class i'm already confused okay my developmental psychology class i'm already confused i'm already in this group chat for my anatomy class and they're already talking about how first exam coming up and i'm just like whoa 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 pump the brakes I haven't even watched the orientation video yet okay and it's thursday let's let's relax please okay like i was talking to myself the other day and i was like what do i really want out of my 20s like what do i really like i, I know i'm a fresh 20 i just turned 20 last november so this year's gonna be my first full year i guess you can say really being in my 20s oh my gosh what the fuck ah! I was just in high school what the hell but like I was like what do I really want out of my 20s because like a lot of people they always say how your 20s are like not 
they're like the worst years ever that's basically what i always hear people say like oh your 20s is so bad um it's so many life changes that's happening blah 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 boom and it kind of had me scared too because i'm like damn your 20s are that bad like i don't want to experience that but i also realized that like that's like a person to person thing you know like i feel like your 20s can only be bad if you allow it to be bad you know what i mean i'm not going to take what somebody else is saying about how they experience their 20s and just automatically assume mine is just going to be a doomsday you know what i mean but like i don't know like i was really like what do i want out of my 20s like i don't know i feel like for me like i really just want my 20s to be the time where i'm building my foundation for my life let's just call it that you know what i mean of course i don't know i just kind of want my 20s to be filled with like a lot of memories a lot of good times and just me looking back and be able to say like wow like i did my shit in my 20s you know what i mean i was like do i want a relationship Ugh not really like you know how some people be like oh like yeah i want to get married or like yeah i want a boyfriend by 23 so we could be together for two three years we have a get married by 26 and then we have a baby blah 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 boom i don't really see that for me like honestly like yeah a boyfriend getting a relationship having a marriage and all that is nice but like i I just see myself making money and living my life. Like, I really don't see myself with anybody, like, honestly at all. And I feel like I'm 20 years old right now. I'm out of freaking high school. We don't even have in-person classes anymore. How the hell am I going to meet anybody in the first place? Like, I'm like, how how am I going to meet somebody anyway? We're out in public. We're wearing masks. Or how's my soulmate supposed to know, oh, my gosh, this is the one for me? You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I just really don't see myself in a relationship. Could it be that I've been single for so long? It probably could be. But then again, it's just kind of like realistically i really don't i just kind of see relationships honestly to me i see them as distractions like i think a relationship is one of the biggest distractions you could ever have in your life because you have to dedicate so much time to this other person like i just can't deal with that i would much rather spend that time with myself doing things for me and figuring out me before like trying to do some shit from us or somebody else like i just can't i'm gonna take my nars um creamy radiance concealer and use that to conceal my under eyes but like i just feel like i just really need to just focus on me and figure out who i am as a person figure out what i like to do in life figure out me you know my purpose and what i'm here for before i could pour into somebody else not saying i want to be perfect i have to be perfect for when i you know do get into a relationship with somebody i just want to make sure that i'm stable not for my sake not for their sake but more so for me because i feel like a lot of times like people rush into things i'm not trying to rush into things rush into anything with anybody you know what i mean like i want to make sure that i'm good i'm secure in all aspects of my life so that you know i have something to offer in a relationship the same way i want whoever is lucky enough let's talk about it whoever is lucky enough okay ladies let's remember now we are always the prize you are always the prize okay period you know because i want whoever is oh my camera body's about to die hold on i'll be right back okay i'm back but anyway yeah like the same way i will want the guy who's going to be lucky enough like i said the first time to be with me to have something to offer me as well you know because like i don't want to work so hard to build my life and build my life up and then i just get with somebody who's not going to add value to that i'm so absolutely sorry like i do believe yes everyone has their own path in life everyone you know goes through things but if i'm at a point in my life where you know i'm good i'm secured blah 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 boom i'm not going to date somebody who cannot match my energy on that who cannot match on that level like i i guess you can say i refuse to date down if that if that makes sense like i'm sorry like i i just can't like if you not if you <laughs> if i have my shit together i expect you to have your shit together times 10 okay like i'm sorry and i'm not even talking about like adding value like um you know as far as materialistic things to be honest i'm talking about like like spiritually emotionally mentally like can you add value to my life on all levels you know and i feel like if you can't then why why am i wasting my time with you like oh how could i forget Yes, how could I forget to bring this up? Um, have you guys checked the subscriber count lately? Because we hit 300 subscribers. We sure the fuck did. Yes, ma'am. Our baby mama crew is growing every day. And I'm so freaking excited. So grateful that we are growing. Okay, we're making progress over here. And that's all we want in 2021. Okay, period. You know what I mean? So freaking excited. I'm so grateful that people are just seeing my videos and liking me. Like the whole thing when I started this YouTube channel was just like, I just want people to see me 
be myself and share parts of my life with them and hopefully they liked it and i mean we're 300 subscribers deep right now so obviously people are liking it i just hope more people see me and like it you know i'm just bearing it off for you guys you know this is just kind of like my outlet i freaking love doing youtube i love recording videos for you guys i'm so grateful for the growth that i've been experiencing you know i really just came on in i just really just came on here something that i really wanted to do for like the longest while and i finally pushed myself to do it and you know what i mean i'm not focused on anybody else i'm focused on me and you know my growth and it's just been great like i freaking love it here you know what i mean and i hope you do too okay i love it here and like i'm just really excited to see how far i'm gonna go to see how far baby mama crew grows and you know like i'm just ooh. Baby mama crew, do you guys want me to call my baby mamas? Nah. Do you guys like that? No. Ooh, let me know down below if you guys like that. But like, but yeah, I'm just really excited to see how far we this can go. And you know, how large our baby mama crew is going to get. And just, you know, seeing the growth and the journey this is going to take me on. Because I know it's going to be a journey. And I'm really excited about it, honestly. Like, I'm so like, I just, I don't know. Like, YouTube is really probably just the one thing that kind of makes me happy in life right now. I'm not going to lie. Because like, I don't know. I just feel like it just allows me to have like this outlet to just kind of just you know talk my shit be myself and do what the fuck i want to do we're 300 deep right now next is 1k i'm not gonna even say 600 we're going we're going straight to 1k next period you know what i mean is it too early to start the road to 1k it's too early it's too early i'm gonna wait till we get to like 600 before we start the road to 1k you know what i mean and but i'm just excited i'm excited like even without hella subscribers even without you know 10k or 1k subscribers even or even 600 i still freaking love doing this shit i love creating youtube videos I love posting like I love interacting with you guys like when you guys count on my videos I'm so freaking happy because I'm just like oh my gosh like people are actually watching like that's like okay people are actually watching I'm always like are people actually watching but like we guys interact with me and comment like I love it I'm like wow like they're actually watching me and they actually like it you know what I mean but yeah, I'm just so excited like I love doing YouTube and you know I'm just really excited to see how far we go this year thank you guys we have 300 we have 300 subscribers on YouTube I I remember when I started YouTube and I had seven subscribers and then I got my first 10 and then I got my first 20 and it's just like wow just to see the growth so far it's like chef's kiss it's amazing you know what I mean and I'm so grateful I'm so freaking grateful oh my gosh Jasmine Sullivan released her new project hotels when I tell you guys it's been on repeat it's been on repeat like oh my gosh heard the way they first of all the whole process of how they put the whole project EP whatever you want to call it together amazing the interludes flow perfectly with the song like you know how a lot of times artists they like do albums or eps or whatever you want to call it these little projects right and like they have these interludes on the song but like the interludes like the, these interludes on the projects but like the interludes don't really go with the flow of the other songs on it it's kind of like okay you have this interlude right here but like it's not shit but it's not like making sense you know what i mean and but hers were like oh my gosh they were so good it's been on repeat you guys need to go listen to it if you haven't listened to it as yet go listen to it i freaking love jasmine sullivan and i'm hoping and praying she is like dropping an album or something soon because i need it i i need it for my soul you know what i mean favorite songs from off of them are um pick up your feelings um period a banger what else lost ones oh my god gosh i remember when she released lost one she released it before she released this project i think she released it like a couple months ago to be honest she released it last year like a couple months ago but oh i played that song for a good two weeks every day like that shit is so good what else lost ones put um put it down put it down mm -hmm. i like that one. Ooh, the song with Ari lennox what is it on it Ooh, let me sit on it oh she snapped she snapped and of course what else um what you call it girls like me with her oh my gosh that song i listen to it every morning before i go to the gym like every morning i freaking love it i'm about to use my urban decay d slick setting spray to set my face in oh i forgot to do my freaking brow gel i know i was forgetting something i was looking at my face like i just can't be done already i know i was forgetting to do something okay so i'm pretty much done with my base i'm about to just go ahead and apply my lashes i'm using the same lashes i always wear russian volume by kiss you guys should know this by now literally probably the only lashes i'll be wearing for a while because just i love them so much they just do so much for me you know they do just enough you know what i mean they're not doing too much but they do just enough you know so i'm gonna be wearing these lashes today i can figure out which one goes on which eye you know what else i want to talk about <sighs> 
why is it men only feel like they have to be polite and treat you with respect if they find you attractive now let's talk about it just a little bit just a little bit because like, like men really will only show you respect as a female if they see you if they see you and deem you as someone that they find are is attractive you know what i mean like if you're someone that they think oh she's not cute to me whatever they're not going to treat you with any type of respect and i've had that happen to me plenty of times especially in high school like well high school i don't even want to count it because there's just a bunch of little as boys there to be honest but we want to use that as an example for for just to, for these purposes okay but um especially like in high school and shit like that like guys they would they won't you know hold the door open for you they won't greet you at a table when they talking to everybody else they just completely ignore you da da da, da. maybe it's because i don't have pretty privilege i never been treated i never you know experienced anything other than that but like men will really only treat you with respect or you know show you any type of you know respect at all if they deem you as attractive and i just feel like that's wrong that's fucked up because at the end of the day everyone deserves basic respect it's human decency you know what i mean everyone should should be treated with kindness everyone should have that have that respect and i just feel like why is it you feel like oh because i don't think you're someone attractive to me in my eyes i'm not going to show you any type of respect i'm just not gonna you know i'm gonna be rude to you or you know what i mean i'm not gonna show you the same you know respect i show this other girl over here you know what i mean and just kind of like i don't know like that's what i said earlier like men are weird as shit like i thought females were weird but men are weird as shit like i don't know what the fuck be going through y'all heads bro for real for real okay this is the wrong lash glue talk about hustle so you die twitter like if you're on twitter then you know what i mean like hustle so you die twitter is basically the twitter those people that are always like i'm always grinding i never have time for sleep i don't feel comfortable when i don't got nothing to do those type of people that is hustle to you die twitter and i'm just completely over it like honestly i am over it they push this narrative that like if you're not doing something 24 hours of the day every second of the day then you're not really out here grinding you're not really out here hustling if you're not productive every single day of the week if you're not doing something every single day of the week to make sure you're accomplishing your goals and you know you're just out here bumming it you're not really you don't really want it you're not hungry enough and i just really don't agree with that first of all Bottom line, your body needs rest. It's okay if you have a day or two or three of you simply not doing anything. You know what I mean? Like, you don't always have to constantly be on go. I have to constantly be doing this. I need to constantly be doing something. Like, give your chance a time to give yourself a time to rest. Give yourself a time to just relax and recenter, refocus. Just have a day of you just scrolling on fucking TikTok all day. That's what you want to do, scroll on TikTok all day. Just scroll on TikTok all day. Like, have a day for you to just decompress. Like, one thing about it, one thing about me, right? here i'm gonna take me a nap okay i'm gonna have a day or two where i'm just like i don't want to film i don't want to edit i don't want to do anything but cuddle up in some pajamas and watch movies all day like i'm gonna have me a day because i just really feel like hold on let me try to put this lash on real quick but like i just really feel like your body needs rest like you cannot be your best self and, pro and produce your best work whatever your work is if you're not well rested and taken care of within you know what i mean so like they're all trying to make people feel bad because oh you spent the whole day and you didn't do anything oh you ain't you're not really hungry enough da, da, da. it's okay if you want to have a day or two of just not doing shit like you existing is enough you being here is enough you know what i mean no one needs to be working or doing something 24 hours every minute of the day you know what i mean like girl go sit down somewhere drink you some chamomile tea and get you a little nap or something like hey, you don't have to like you do not need to be up here hopping and running every hour every second of the day i promise you life is not that serious whatever it is you need to get done and if it's not an urgent like you need to get it done immediately baby please do it tomorrow go take you a nap like go have a spa day or something because like i just don't get it like you you don't need to be productive every second every hour of the day like you really do not that's not first of all that's not normal like you need to have at least an hour i feel like honestly just take this from me take this from me okay because one thing i always try to implement in my life in my 20 years is some self-care i don't care if it's five minutes or if it's five hours okay I'm gonna have me some time for me, okay? Um, take you five minutes or an hour out of your day. I don't, if you have a lot of exams going on, all my baby mamas in school, working, whatever. Five minutes, ten minutes, whatever, an hour. If you could do more, do more. And just relax. Unwind. If you want to spend time on social media, spend time on social media. If you want to go read a book, read a book. But just give yourself some time to unwind a little bit. You know what I mean? Like, go spark you up a blunt, girl. Like... <laughs> 
like just relax for a little bit i'm telling you life is not that serious like yes life is serious but you do not need to be you do not need to be stressing yourself out because you feel like you're not being productive enough like don't listen to people and what they do and saying about their lives you know what i mean if they want to run themselves dry down to the ground then go ahead you know what i mean if you want to work for, like a slave go with like a slave you know what i mean i'm not gonna stop you but for me and mine we gon' we gonna relax over here. We're gonna we're gonna take a day if we're feeling overwhelmed. Okay, just take a little break, take a little hour break, and let's get back to when we get done. You know what I mean? That's what we're gonna do over here because we know that you just cannot produce your best work if you are not you know taken care of from within, taken care of, being well rested. You know your mind is clear. You have peace of mind, clarity. Your mind is strengthened. You know what I mean? You cannot produce your best work if you do not check those boxes off. You know and don't get me wrong sometimes we do have to push through sometimes and just say you know what even though as bad as i want to go lay down right now i really have to get this done of course but you do not have to be like hustle till you die like i said don't listen to hustle till you die twitter okay go take you a nap drink you some tea go get you something your favorite snack and just take you some time off take a day or two just to do what you want to do you know that whole sleep when you rich bullshit no mm -mm. Mm, 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 mm. I don't believe in that. Oh, grind 24-7. You sleep when you rich. Like, nah, nigga. I want to sleep now, okay? <laughs> okay, let me sleep now, okay? So, when I do get rich, I'm well rested. You know what I mean? I can spend my money. 24 hours, I want to be up for a whole day. Let me do that. You know what I mean? I'm going to sleep. I'm going to take me a little nap, okay? And then you'll get back to the grind when I wake back up, okay? But for now, shut it up. It's nap time, all right? Like, I just can't. Twitter sometimes, bro. The shit they be on there talking about and like these whole like values and, and shit to be trying to push on people it's freaking ridiculous like all right let's hope i don't look too cockeyed on camera but um i'm pretty much done with my face to be honest all i have to do is put some lip gloss on so let's just figure out what we're gonna do with this hair girl okay i don't know like she's definitely giving right now but i want to see how she's gonna look wet so I have my spray bottle right here. This is just some water in here. And I have some like curly products, like some sort of curly in your hair that I use on my natural hair. I'm gonna put on here, but I'm gonna just wet her and let's just see how it looks. Hold on, let me um fix the part first. Let me make sure, you know, everything's on flat, flat up here, all right? Usually when I have these tea part wigs, I have to do so much to the um, middle part of it. But um, the only thing I really did was cut off that excess lace right there. And I just put it on. And I didn't even, like, pluck the part or anything. Like, it looks pretty good. It's probably the best one so far, to be honest. It could be because it's curly or what. But I don't know. Okay, let's just, let's see. Let's see what she's going to give. Right? Okay. This side is wet. This side is dry. All right okay oh she's shedding oh nah hold on because i'm living for this wig like hold on wait a minute wait a minute let me let me let me hold on i'm gonna put some of this um curl cream that i have by lotta body um this is their moisture me curl and style milk i put this on oh i put this on my natural hair this defines my curls so well i don't know if i have force i don't even know my hair texture to be honest but like it defines my hair so well so i'm gonna put this on hopefully i have enough because the bottle's almost empty so i'm gonna put this on the curls see if that'll make them pop a little bit more i don't think i'm able to get anything out of it i don't think i'm gonna get anything out of it i'm gonna use this i'm gonna use this um my backup i have a backup this is the blueberry bliss twist and um blah, blah, blah. i'm gonna use this blueberry blue blue, blue blue i'm gonna use this blueberry bliss twist and shout cream this is by curls this is their um what should we call it Curl cream is supposed to add sheen, moisture, and definition and create the perfect twist out. But this is not even a twist out today, okay? We're going to add this to the hair. And maybe this will define the curls. I don't know. Hopefully, it'll mess it up and weight them down. I hope not. So, we're just going to run this through. This is probably not the best products to put on this hair. But I have nothing else. So, it's going to have to work. Wait, how do they do it to make the curls more defined? They, like, scrunch it up like this, right? Okay, she's scrunching. Y'all just, just look at it. Like, come on, like, I'm not even like a hair guru or nothing, but come on now. Come on now. Do I recommend this wig? A hundred percent. Yes, ma'am, I do. I do. Go get you one. Go get you a little tea part, baby. 
get you something quick and cute for the summer okay for your whole activities you know when that sneaky link call you late at night have something you can put on okay and this is gonna be the wig okay oh i live i live i live i live yes ma'am okay so this is what we working with this is what she looking like giving very much dominican mommy very much puerto rican mommy you know what i'm saying like my name is jc you know what i mean all right you guys i'm back and this is what we're working with and honestly this is by far my favorite tea part wig very minimal work was required to install this wig and just look at it it's bomb like come on i didn't have to pluck it i didn't have to bleach it all i did was cut the lace off of it and you know we working we looking good out here you know what I mean? I'm hoping this, this um this curl cream that I put on it is not weighing the hair down. But I don't know. I'm only wearing this for one day anyway, to be honest. So um yeah, this is the end of the video. Um I hope you guys enjoyed watching. All the information for this hair will be linked down in the description box below, so you guys go check it out if you want. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.